that's a net fish, yo. Net fish, yo. So we're going to come up here. There's a dock up here. We're going to hit this dock. Uh, so right now, uh, you know, fish are in transition. We got fish kind of everywhere. And uh, got shade here. It's a cloudy day today. But, uh, you know, crappy still love that shade. They got a lot of structure. We've got a cove back in here on the back side. So a lot of these crappy have moved out. This dock is on a point. Uh, always a good place. A dock on a point is a good place to always try. Boom. Still full of eggs? Yeah, see it. She still got eggs. I don't know if that's what she's been eating. Oh, well. Just hope this leave that open. Uh, you know, that's a good 10 inch crappie right there. Boom. And uh, that's that hot tail bait. That is the Virginia Shad color right there. And I just got it topped with a 16th ounce jig. That's an eagle hog head. Six panel test line. Uh, ACC crappy stick here, six and a half foot. And uh, you know, no rounded reason these fish are not that deep. The water's about 14 foot deep off the front of this dock, so we're just pitching back there in the dark and keeping the lure in that six to eight foot range, bringing it back out. Have a fish fry, man. We're gonna we're gonna have a good time this weekend. Another good crap, a little good crap lay. Good. So many times this time of year, uh, we're looking at the mid-May. You know, if you're on a lake, this particular lake, you can. Uh, you know, find crappie, they'll pull off the bank. Some of these crappie are still spawning. Uh, there's some brush in the back of this one. I think some crappie are spawning around it. You can just run the lake if you have docks and just fish, you know, just fish those docks. If you got live scope, good for you. You can scan them and tell if there's fish there or not. It only took a few seconds to scan this dock, so we knew it was a few fish hanging here. So as, as a normal rule, we'll fish here till the crappie start getting smaller, and then we'll move on and find us another place to fish. So that, that's kind of how you do it. Let's cast back up in here and see if we can catch another fish. Now we're at five. Right. You switch bodies, this body. Uh, shot. Add one on, I didn't even know it. Yeah, I did that a minute ago. Ah, come on up here now, Mr. Fish. Boom. You know, positioning your boat. Uh, so I have spot lock now. Several years ago, if you've been following my channel, you know I didn't have spot lock. So I would, you know, it would just, it would take me a while to, you know, I, I just had to use the trolling motor to keep my position and try to cast. You can see the day, the, day the wind's probably buffing 10 miles per hour, so, you know, I always talk about boat positioning. You've got to position the boat. It's good. That's a black crappie. Oh, male black crappie. You have to position your boat so you know uh, you can fish these spots. And, and since it's two of us, uh, you know I pull the nose of the boat up. And the spot lock is holding us pretty close. You know we don't want to get up against the dock. Anyway, it's doing a pretty good job. So you just get yourself positioned, and that way you can, you know, fish these slips right here. 
Fortunately, this slip right here uh, doesn't have a boat in it, and that really helps us fishing. I know it's kind of in the way. I didn't uh, bring me another brace. Kind of about, That's one, right over here, about that third one back out. Yep. That must be what they hang around. Paul or what they're hanging around. I'll tell you a little secret. See how that hook right there bent out? This is the eagle claw. This is the eagle claw head. So what you can do is you can take your pliers and bend that hook out one time and bend it back. And you can get that you can get that lure back a lot of times. You could keep you can pull on it just steady and it'll release and come back. Good on the good old big one. Like in that blue ink. Look, here's a word to the wise. And, uh, you know, it's this much wind, I'm fishing with a 16. You got to let that lure have time to get down. Especially with the wind puffing on the line. Got a big bow in my line here. Um, anyway, we talked about last week you know, about watching that you know, crappy bite. You can see that line. And, you know, you can shoot these lures back in here. Um, this ACC crappy stick is plenty of limber enough to, uh, you know, to shoot these docks. Now I've got a wide slip to shoot, but just say for instance my angle is not really good and I need to, uh, that's another good 10 inch fish right there y'all. You know, if my position's not good, I could shoot the lure in there instead of trying to cast it. Sometimes that works really well, especially in wind like this. I'll demonstrate that again. You know, I'm gonna have my line in my finger here. I will grab the lure between, I think old Nate gonna get me in the nose before it's over with. And uh, I'm gonna just bend the uh, bend the rod like this. And I'm gonna point, I'm gonna look down the rod shaft in the direction I want to shoot this, and I'm gonna just turn this loose. And boom, it shoots the lure right over there. You take that net down. So we, uh, boom. So we repositioned the boat, and I might have to bump up a little bit. Okay. Ah, man, these fish are hitting at the lure. They're not eating it. You know, the only thing you can do, boom, that's 10 quarter inch crappy right there. You know, sometimes when they get like that and they just hitting at the lure, man, the only thing you can do is just switch colors and keep running it through there. Hey guys, uh, we're gonna end this video. All in all, uh, we caught a lot of nice crappie today. Caught them around docks, caught them on some underwater structure off the bank. So anyway, we're gonna have a fish fry this weekend and uh, man, these old crappies gonna taste good, you know what I mean? So anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment. We appreciate all the subscribers I've been getting. Uh, share this channel with someone that you know that likes fishing adventures. Uh, I would appreciate it. 
You remember, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Don't forget to hit that like button and click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And as always, you remember, it's a wild life. And I'll see you on the water. That fish, yo. Good one. Yes, sir. That's a good one. Boom. Switched over to the old hair jig. Boom.